for their YouTube. Today we're going to explore a little bit more of the properties of these. These are the um, the tie down uh, the straps that we that I get in at work. Okay, these just get thrown straight in the bin. Okay, last time what I did is I I made this, I made that. Made these little discs, billets. Made this one here, red and blue. All right, well now, today, we're going to try to see if we can make a dinosaur. All right. Now, I have um, two dinosaurs that I've made. Okay, right. All right, this one's, um, these both have been made out of milk lids. This one and this one. All right. Now, I'm just exploring the prop, the properties of the, of these ties. So, what I believe will happen is that if I cut these up, it will flow into the mold. Okay. So. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but these most likely will be HDPE. Yes, I'm not 100% sure what they are. Any feedback would be good. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll cut these up and we'll put them in there. Then we'll put in the other. All right. Cutting some blue up. I've given them all the spray with this stoner's mold release, urethane mold release. That stoner's release has worked on the porcelain, um, well, the Pyrex dish that I'd. That I had. So it all right, got our first little bit. Maybe we can be a little bit creative if we lay these in the right spot might be able to colorize by placement. Just how I did the, um, how the cookie man might be able to do the same. I gave up in the end. I just tipped it all in. Okay, first what we'll do is we're now, we'll put this in the oven. And we will see how it goes. While that's in the oven, I'll just cut some more up. What colour next shall I do? I do white, red. I'm not sure. Right now, we'll just continue. Cut a few of these up. Ready for when it comes out of the oven. And see how that goes. All right, keep you updated. <laughs> I originally put the blue um, blue plastic in into the mold, and it wasn't it wasn't melting. It was it was melting, but it wasn't necessarily running. So I I turned the temperature right up to two hundred and thirty degrees, and it sort of yeah work a bit, but not not that well. Anyway, so I just put some um, uh, put some uh, white white cord white strap in, and that seemed to do the trick. Um, whether I was just a little bit impatient this time, but I don't know. So I've put some white in, and I've just put some red in. So now we're going to put it back in the oven.
and just just to check out check to see whether this blue is actually melting all right I should we're gonna cut some more up if you have a look at the blue the blue area here this is what it was like before okay it didn't look like it was flowing in the mold okay some if you have a look the um, the other plastic has flown flown throughout the mold so I'm not a hundred percent sure whether the blue plastic uh, flows but I know the white one does so we're gonna probably try and either finish off with the white or even the red I know. just got to see how it goes this might actually be better mixed with the blue and the white it should be all the same plastic so I'm not sure the story story there right now, put it back in the oven it's probably a good idea when you're actually doing using these straps is probably to have a fan the fan blowing to blowing towards you so you won't get the smell it is a bit it is a bit pongy not pongy but just uh, out of all the other plastics this would be the plastic that probably you wouldn't want to do this all the time because it does smell driven the wife out of the house so yes if you want to drive your wife out of the house just keep using this plastic Anyway, it's sort of coming along sort of a bit slowly but it's working to a degree <laughs> back in the oven it goes just an update this is the day after the day after I started anyway so had to go away so anyway so I'd turn the oven off and Anyway, so basically, it looks like he'll come away without a problem, all right? So it's cool, cool now. So what we got to do is try and see if we can fill the rest of the mold. All right, so we go back to what we had yesterday. We'll put it back, put some more in there and put it back in the oven and... And we'll see what it'll turn out like. Just with this bit here, how it's like over the mould, once it's tight, just get your knife and you can just easily push it, push it over back into the area. That's not a problem. Might put some more white with that. You get different coloured um, ties. There are, I've had yellow in the past. I think there's blue, yellow. What other colours? Blue, yellow, white. And you might be able to make green out of that. I know. I think that looks alright. Put it back in the oven and carry the progress. Bye. Okay, basically we've got to put a little bit more in and let it flow into these outer edges here and we'll let it like cook in. So there we so that's the update at the moment. We've had a few rounds of this that you haven't that I haven't put on the, um, the video. Because it has taken a little while to do. 
Anyway, we just put some more in. All this, if it overflows over the top of the mould, it doesn't matter because basically we'll just, that'll get cut off anyway. Because basically, this is the other dinosaur that I, that I did. And basically this is bowed up. Okay, when it was cooled down. Then all you do, and this is the other one. And basically all you do is you just linish the back of it. Or you, yeah, you plane the back of it or however you'd like to cut the excess off. And, yeah, and there you go. Then you'll have a dinosaur. Uh, all right I'll keep you updated just basically now just filling the filling it hopefully to get all the um, all the places now all right so yeah I'm on handy cam it again who a just here we've got a bubble Okay, what we need to do is need to cook it a little bit longer and that should be able to remove the bubbles. So it's pretty much where we want it now, but we'll just cook it a bit longer and we'll remove those bubbles and that should be it. I'm saying that's done now. I think that's pretty good. It has filled the moulds. There's a little bit of sand impregnation that I I did before with the glove, but you can just see it right there. But oh, all in all, that worked out all right. Now we just need to see what it looks like when it comes out of the mold. Just got to let it cool down now and keep you informed. Right, bye. Just to just to speed the process up. I'm just going to, it's, it's warm to the touch, but to cool it down, just put it in the um, sink and just fill the sink. And let it cool, just quicken the cooling process. starting to come away from the mould see it here one-handed process oh, we're getting somewhere now should really put the camera down Bit hard to do it with one hand. Some places are a little bit stubborn to get away. Well, I'm going to put the camera down. 
Next time you see it, it should be out. We're back. All right, the final of the um, the dinosaur mold using these straps. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Rawr. All right, it worked, but but basically there's a few oh, a few surface bits of detail here wasn't the wasn't the best. But all in all, it, the properties did work. It did flow into the mold, but it did take a bit of um, bit of persuasion, and it did take a lot lot longer than what the uh, milk bottles would have taken. Milk bottle lids, I should say. So, in future, the milk bottle lids will be, would be the way to go. Okay, there's there's my milk dinosaur, milk lid, milk lid dinosaur, and this is a another. Um, we'll call this a milk coke. The dinosaur because we've got some grey in here from Diet Coke. <clears throat> okay, so they worked out alright. This one did work out alright, but it was it's much um, oh, takes more time to do this if yeah, they're like little micro bubbles. It's like the bubbles just stuck there and they just wouldn't disappear. Close up. Yeah, there's a there's a hole down the bottom here. There's a hole here, and on the back side here, the bubble we tried to get rid of. It pretty much got rid of, but it just popped and it just let go. But that's all right. We can we can always just like sand that, so that's that's pretty good. But yeah, conclusion is I might just give these um, these tires a miss for the um, like molding. I thought thought it'd be all right for molding like this. But the way the finish is isn't isn't good at all. Anyway, Kev's modeling channel signing off. Rah! Yeah.